The extreme value theorem states that if a function f is continuous on the closed interval a, b, then there are numbers c1 and c2 in a, b for which f of c1 and f of c2 are the maximum and minimum values of f of x for that interval. For example, if we had a function that looked like this, and our a value was over here, and our b value was over here, Then we have f of a over here and f of b over here. And we know that there's a f of c1 that represents the maximum value, which is over here. And it corresponds to c1, which is in between a and b, and f of c2 which equals f of b in this case corresponds to f of c2. c2 corresponds to the x value for which f of c2 is the, is the minimum value for f of x. We need to know that f is continuous because if not, we cannot reach the same conclusions. For example, if we had a discontinuous function for the interval a, b, then we no longer have a maximum value because this is a whole. And since we know that all real numbers, the set of all real numbers has no holes, we can't replace this whole with a different maximum value. So we cannot reach the same conclusions as if f was a continuous function.